House Dane of Starfall is one of the most ancient houses in the Seven Kingdoms. Members of House Dane often have pale skin, violet eyes, and mostly take after the rest of the Seven Kingdoms in traditions and customs. Some believe House Dane came to be as much as 10,000 years ago in the dawn of days. Legend claims many, many years ago, the first Dane followed the track of a falling star to a site where he found a stone of magical powers. There he decided to raise a castle for all the Danes to afterwards rule from. This castle was built at the mouth of the Torrentine River and allowed for them to rule over the western mountains for centuries, titling themselves Kings of the Torrentine and Lords of Starfall. Though many small kingdoms existed in Dorne before the Martells united them, few would reach the prestige or power of House Dane. This prestige and power is mostly due to their sword named Dawn, and the men who have the honor of wielding it. The sword Dawn has been wielded by Danes for thousands of years, and though the origins of the sword are lost to time, many believe it was forged from the heart of a fallen star. Dawn is described as being a pale, melt glass and sharing in the properties of Valerian steel, strong, light, and sharper than any best castle forged steel. Unlike many family heirloom swords, Dawn isn't passed from lord to lord, and only some someone worthy of it can wield it, earning the title Sword of the Morning. Characters in the novel, and even George R. R. Martin in his blog, have stated the sword is so powerful that the wielder will almost always have the upper hand. When Sir Gerald Dane asks why people only remember his cousin, a wielder of dawn, Sir Arthur Dane, Sir Oakhart responds he was a great knight, to which Sir Gerald counters he had a great sword. And in response to the question, who would win in a fight, Sir Barristan Selmy or Sir Arthur Dane, both incredible and renowned warriors, George R. R. Martin responded, Dane, if he was armed with Dawn. If both men had equal weaponry, it might be a toss-up. So we can see wielding Dawn brings a huge advantage to a fight. And though we know the sword brings great power and fame to House Dane, it's still not clear how they pass the sword Dawn or the specific requirements to use it, or even if only those of the main branch can wield it and not their cadet branch, Hermitage. Many believe a knight must be both highly skilled, regarded as one of the finest warriors, and have a good and chivalrous heart to be eligible for the title Sword of the Morning. That means an excellent warrior that uses his skills for bad things such as killing innocents probably won't be picked. For choosing the next user of Dawn, some think that it is voted on by members of House Dane. Others believe the user must pass certain tests to prove they're worthy. But I talk more about that in my Dawn Sword video if you're interested in theories. It's important to note that currently there is no Sword of the Morning and Dawn is waiting for its next user. Something interesting about House Dane is that they may have a second title they use, Sword of the Evening, unless it was just a one-time nickname. If it isn't, how one earns this title is also a mystery. There are four theories I particularly like. The first one is that the title is given to those trying to prove their worth to be given Dawn next. They are the most likely candidates to take on the weapon and earn the title Sword of the Morning. And that could be symbolism, fighting through obstacles and darkness to be reborn in the dawn and restarting your life in a new day. Another theory is that the Sword of the Evening title is given to knights that have retired from their position as Sword of the Morning. They are no longer wielding Dawn, so to acknowledge once being a legendary warrior, they are given that name. The third theory for the Sword of the Evening is it's an honorary title for those that were the Sword of the Morning but lost the privilege to wield it. We know Vorian Dane was sent to the Wall by Nymeria and had the title Sword of the Evening, and also was one of the greatest knights in all of Dorne. Was he the Sword of the Morning before doing something so terrible that he lost the right to be called it? Or was the disgrace of being sent to the Wall enough for him to lose the title Sword of the Morning but still be given something to honor him? The last theory is the Sword of the Evening is given to those of House Dane's cadet branch, Hermitage. If it's true they aren't in the running for the Sword Dawn, only the main branch, this could be a way to honor them as being highly skilled warriors and capable of wielding the sword had they been born into the main house. So enough of swords, here are some brief Dane historical events of note. House Dane has a history of tensions with the Reach, as does most of Dorne. Being stony Dornishmen, those living in the mountains, and closer to the Reach has made these conflicts easier to transpire. House Dane most likely also raided the Stormlands and Dornish marches. One of my favorite Dane quotes in the novels, I know that Danes have been killing oak hearts for several thousand years, paints a picture of tensions between House Dane and the houses of the Reach. To further illustrate this, in one story, we learn that Samuel Dane, the Starfire, once sacked and took the great and wealthy Reach city, Old Town. An unknown time later, in around 10 AC, Sir Joffrey Dane would march the walls of Old Town and raise fields and villages outside it. However, this was in retaliation to the Targaryens attempting to conquer Dorne. I'm sure the fact that it was a Reach city didn't hurt House Dane's willingness to go through with it, though. Besides tensions with Reach and Stormlands, House Dane sided with House Martell and Nymeria when they decided to unite Dorne. Of course, this was only after Vorian of House Dane, Sword of the Evening and Greatest Knight in all of Dorne, was sent to the Wall. Together with House Martell's and the Roynar's allies, 
they would successfully help the Martells take Dorn. From there on out, House Dane would be one of the principal houses sworn to the Martells. And lastly, I'm going to name some well-known Danes before ending on the modern Danes. First up, Davos Dane. 700 plus years ago, Davos Dane of Starfall and a Sword of the Morning married Nymeria after Mors Martell died. Though he had a son with her, his son would never ascend to the Dornish throne as the honor was given to Nymeria and Mors eldest daughter. Next, Sir Ulrich Dane. Another Sword of the Morning is mentioned in the Sworn Sword who was alive around the time of the First Blackfyre Rebellion in 196 AC. Sir Eustace claims that even Sir Ulrich couldn't equal Prince Daemon Blackfyre with his sword Blackfyre, clearly boasting how skilled Daemon was. Then there's Sir Arthur Dane. Around roughly a century after Sir Ulrich, Sir Arthur was also a Sword of the Morning and the most well-known of all the Danes. Sir Gerald Dane is frustrated about this, stating, My house goes back 10,000 years, onto the dawn of days. Why is it that my cousin is the only Dane that anyone remembers? Though Sir Arthur Dane has been dead for 17 years in a current A Song of Ice and Fire time, he is still mentioned or thought of by characters throughout the A Song of Ice and Fire novels. He was the deadliest Kingsguard of Ares II Targaryen, the Mad King, widely respected while alive and dead, considered one of the realm's most chivalrous warriors, and earned the love of people through his generosity and kindness. Sir Arthur Dane would die at the Tower of Joy during Robert's Rebellion. There they were guarding a tower for Rhaegar Targaryen that contained Lyanna Stark, who Rhaegar had supposedly abducted. Dead. When Ned Stark and his companions came to the tower, Arthur Dane was killed. Ned Stark would return the Sword Dawn to Starfall and Arthur's sister after Arthur's death at the tower in 283 AC. Ashera Dane Ashera is the sister Ned returned the sword to at Starfall. She was a lady-in-waiting for Princess Elia Martell and considered extremely beautiful with violet eyes. Many men desired her, including Barristan Selmy, and if rumor is to be believed, Ned Stark. Ashera, shortly after Ned returned the Sword Dawn to her, would leap from a tower at Starfall to her death. Her body was never found, and it is unknown why she jumped. Major belief is she either jumped because Ned Stark was her lover and responsible for the death of her brother, or that she was disgraced at attorney and after giving birth to a stillborn, could not handle the grief and shame. She died the same year as her brother, Arthur. Lastly, a brief list of the Danes in modern A Song of Ice and Fire we know of are Lord Edric Dane, a teen who is the current Lord of Starfall and the son of Arthur and Ashera's older brother. Alaria Dane, Edric's aunt, who was betrothed to Beric Dondarrion before he died and came back. You know, a few times. And then there's Gerald Dane, the Dark Star. He comes from the cadet branch of House Dane, Hermitage, and is an incredibly cruel man that ends up cutting Marcella Baratheon's face and cutting off her ear. Currently, Dark Star is on the loose, and Edric Dane is hopefully becoming worthy of Dawn. So that is House Dane, home of the legendary wielders of Dawn and Swords of the Morning. Come back every Sunday and Wednesday for new Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire videos. So quick question on which house to do next. The polls show two houses are extremely close to each other. I can either pick one house and do videos for them for one to two months, or I can take those two houses and split them in the week, such as Sundays do Tyrells and Wednesday Greyjoys. And I do that until we move on to another house or houses. Tyrells and Greyjoys were just an example, not necessarily the winners, but you can leave a comment below whether you want me to just pick one house and do videos for it Sunday and Wednesday, or if you want me to do the two highest ranking houses per week on split days. Lastly, poster giveaway is still going on. Just write a comment in the video below and winner will be picked next week. It's open to international subscribers.